Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a trying new makeup video. I have a bunch of new stuff I wanted to play with, but specifically the new ColourPop Kathleen Lights So Jaded palette. I had a few of you request this, and I'm going to go ahead and play around with this today. It's the biggest palette I think ColourPop's ever done, so I want to play with that. I also have the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Radiance Foundation, as well as the Urban Decay One and Done Ultimate Brush Off Set and Go Powder. So those are both new. Also from Smashbox, they have a powder. This is their Photo Finish Fresh Setting Powder. So I figured we would use one on the kind of T-zone, one on the perimeter, so we'll kind of play around. Also wanted to demo the Milk Makeup Flex Highlighter in, I think it's called Blitzed. I did use another one in another video, but I haven't used this one yet. Have these new blushes from JCAT, and these look really pretty. They're called Blush Mallow, so like marshmallow, because the texture is almost like a ColourPop hybrid cream, and these are $5. I also have the new Milani. This is interesting. It is the Violet One Lash Primer. It's supposed to be violet in color, so that it doesn't go gray on your lashes when you put mascara on as well as their highly rated mascara. I have a couple samples I wanna use. I know it's kinda of weird, but I got them with orders from Sephora, so I thought I might as well try them. I have the Tatcha Silk Peony Melting Eye Cream. So this is just like a deluxe sample I got, as well as the Summer Fridays CC Me Serum. This is their Vitamin C Serum. And then I have this sample, and I know it's weird to use it, but I wanna try it. And this is the concealer from Charlotte Tilbury, the Magic Away Liquid Concealer. So I thought we could try this out because it's new to me. And then I don't know in terms of lips, but I did buy these from Elsie Cosmetics. These are the lip vinyls. So we'll just play around, but I have kind of a mixture. I really wanna focus on the foundation, powders, and the Kathleen Lights uh, palette. So if you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe and let's go ahead and begin. So first up to prep the skin, I'm gonna go in with my Juno & Co Moonshine Miracle Cream. I've been using this a lot. I did work with them on a previous video. So I've been using this for about a month. I like to use it to hydrate. So you can use it as a primer or a moisturizer or both. So I'm just gonna really focus this on the perimeters of my face where I'm really, really dry. So next I wanna go in with the serum. This is the Summer Friday CC Me Serum. So I got a little sample, um, cause why not? I like when Sephora does that because a lot of times you spend a lot of money on something and if you don't like it, you're kind of wasting it. What is going on with my hair now? We're just, I don't know, we're on the struggle bus today. So this one comes in a little dropper. I love vitamin C, but I know vitamin C is kind of like, I don't know what the word is. It can break you out and stuff. So. It has like, I don't even smell a fragrance really, so I'm just going to apply this. It's clear, so it just looks like a clear kind of, a little bit milky. I like that it's not heavily fragranced, so I'm just going to apply this. Of course, I won't be able to say, you know, that this has changed my life immediately, but we'll, you know, keep using it. Feels like a light tack, but nothing crazy. Just feels like a typical serum, so we'll have to see. I've been pretty happy with Summer Friday products. Um, I like their jet lag mask as a moisturizer or a mask. So I was interested to try this. So for my under eye, I do wanna try this melting eye cream from Tatcha. People go crazy over Tatcha products. I'm kind of in the middle on them. I like them, but some of them don't wow me. So it just looks like a little whipped kind of white cream. I've been really liking the Glam Glow. They have a new eye cream. So I'm just gonna take some and apply this under the eye. It has like a nice light scent, kind of like a spa. I guess floral peony makes sense. Not overpowering though. Feels nice and slip, slip, slick. Not irritating me. That's a huge thing. If it makes my eyes burn or water, I'm absolutely not going to mess with it. So feels good so far. So I zoomed you guys in and I really want to try this Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Radiance Foundation. Medium to full coverage, has hyaluronic acid. Okay, so I really like the original. I like to mix the original with other foundations. So if I have one that's dewy that doesn't hang on, I like to mix the original to give me a little bit more lasting power. So I'm excited to try this. I have the shade F7. I bought one of these from Ulta and the shade was so horrifically off that like I, I tried it one day off camera and Ian was like, what's going on with your face? Like the color was so uh, dark but also cool toned. 
So this is F7. They sent this. I actually returned the one that I bought and I went to exchange it and they didn't have it in store yet. So I couldn't even get like a different shade. So it does have a pump whereas the original has the doe foot. So I find myself like trying to pull this off and I'm like, no. But either way is fine with me. So let's see what the shade looks like here. I haven't even pumped it out. Yeah, see it looks a little bit cool. So I feel like this is a neutral shade, but we're just gonna go ahead and go in. I'm just gonna use a sponge. This is Juno & Co sponge. They sent me a ton of stuff, so I'm just trying it out. Yeah, that shade looks a little bit cool toned and light. Coverage looks nice. My one fear with this is hydrating typically means not long wearing for me. So I feel like I'm really going to have to be diligent in setting this. Coverage is good though, which that's one thing I feel like you're not seeing. But I guess now what I'm thinking about it, the new Fenty foundation uh, is supposed to have a high coverage for hydrating. Also, the ABH has decent coverage. So I feel like brands are kind of doing both because hydrating foundations are kind of becoming more popular. Okay, I'm like, what in the actual fuck is happening here? I, that like stresses me out. Like I look at myself and I'm like, oh my God, no. Okay, so other than the shade being a little bit kind of light and cool toned, I think it'll be fine. It's just a little bit light for my self tan because I just did it last night. But I think it looks nice and hydrated. It's not accentuating anything, although I do get kind of larger pores here, but once I set it, it kind of settles down. So it looks nice and hydrating, good coverage. I feel like two pumps. I didn't use everything, so I had to wipe some off, but I want to go in next with this concealer. Now, I've heard good things about this. For some reason, I didn't pick it up. This is the Magic Away Concealer, and when I purchased the foundation and the corrector, I got samples. So I'm going to go ahead. I think I'm going to go in with number three, Fair. Okay, this feels thick. Huh. So I'm just gonna kind of lay it down. It feels really thick, almost like the Tarte Creaseless. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out. Typically like to use a sponge, so it's kind of awkward with this sample, but. It looks pretty good. I know I've heard a lot of people rave about this. I just think I think when this came out or around the time that this came out there was like an influx and at one at some point I just lose my mind like with the foundations when the first like three or four came out I was like yes 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 and then it was just like I don't know like there was like Zoeva, Shiseido, Charlotte Tilbury, Fenty Beauty, ABH like I was just like okay I'm done you know what I mean like at some point I think I burn out and I kind of just lose my passion for a minute I need to regroup and I think I was just like, you know what, I have concealers that I really like. I don't need to buy another one, but this looks pretty good. I mean, the whole base looks good and hydrated. Again, to me, I feel like this is going to come right off, so I need to set it. But so far, so good. My, my sample is coming in clutch. Okay, so I have two powders here, and I'm going to try to figure out how to use both. Okay, so I have this new The Ultimate Brush Set and Go. This is the Urban Decay One and Done. I picked out the shade Fair. So this is a setting powder. Let's kind of look at what's happening in here. I don't know if I really like the concept. Okay, so you screw off the top and there's the actual powder. But then there must be a brush. Okay, so I think you have to take off the sticker. Yeah, you take off the sticker and then you kind of use the brush and you can kind of dust all over. So I'm trying to figure out because they also have this Smashbox Photo Finish Setting Powder. This is interesting too. You twist this and fresh powder comes out. This one is in the shade 01, but it looks a little bit deep. So I think I'm going to try the Urban Decay under my eyes and the Smashbox all over my face just because the Smashbox looks like it's going to darken my under eye. So first, I'm actually going to go in with my sponge to set my under eye and just go right into the powder. So I'm going to uh, make sure I don't have any creasing, which I have a lot. Whoa. And I've got the powder on. Let's go in. I think this Urban Decay powder comes in it's either four or five shades. I just got the package and pulled it. So I'm pulling this down my T-zone. I don't smell anything. Okay, thank you. I'm not a fan of like heavily fragranced. I know some things I like a little fragrance, but powder, I like inhale it. This is nice. Nice and smoothing. 
I don't really feel like it's changing the color at all, so this seems to be a good shade for me. I wanna test the little brush off situation, so I have to peel off this sticker. The only thing is this is just like, I get they're trying to do like a brush and like a, you know, like a two-in-one, like you don't have to carry a brush, but this is kind of bulky, so I'm kind of like, mm, I don't know about that. So, okay, I peeled off the thing, so now I'm going to, I'm assuming you would shake it up. Yeah, so when you shake it up, then the powder gets on the brush, so let's just... The brush is nice and soft. It's a little bit dense. I guess I could see for touch-ups, if like not in your little, you know, what's the word, clutch, because it's obviously too big, but I could see if you're somebody that gets oily and you need to touch up. I mean, you literally just one and done, as they say. So that could be cool, and because they do have different shades, it's not just a brightening shade. So I don't know, it looks nice. It set my makeup, but I wanna try the Smashbox on the rest of the face. But honestly, I think it is a cool concept. You know, sometimes I'm like, this is bulky, this is that, but honestly, like, how else would they do it? I think this is a cool concept, especially if you're somebody that has to reapply powder. You just pull this out. Instead of having to pull out, you know, a compact and then a separate brush or a sponge that's going to move everything, the brush is nice in here. So I think this will be a good product. All right, so now I have the Photo Finish Fresh Setting Powder in the shade 01. It kind of looks like a little camera lens, which is really cool. And then you pop it open. And let me see if I have to figure this. Twist for fresh powder. Okay, I don't want powder to go everywhere, but okay, I'm nervous. Is it coming out? Yes. So I'm actually gonna take the clean side of the sponge, pick up some powder on here. This is like a really yellow tint powder, but that's okay with me. Make sure that I am setting all the areas that we're gonna be bronzing. Okay, so I feel like it's set. It didn't really change the color. Maybe a little bit darker than the other one, but I feel like everything is nice and set. So I think it's a cool concept, um, especially like in terms of not being so messy because you're only gonna twist as much as you need out. It's just a little bit innovative, but the product works well. Okay, so I almost forgot, but I have been wanting to try like OG soap brows and I have never tried it. I've tried like the Iconic London product and brow gels, but I went ahead and got up uh, got up, picked up a Neutrogena fragrance-free bar. This was like the only thing that I could find. I wanna try this and like do the soap brows and see if it really is different or not. So essentially you use like a clear bar like this of soap and you just really like brush your brow hairs up and it's supposed to make them stay all day and make them fluffy. So from what I understand, you're supposed to wet a spoolie. I'm gonna use the ABH 7B brush and just wet it with some setting spray. Curtis is whining and he's driving me crazy. And you're supposed to brush up. And then I've seen people like actually like push it down with their finger to really set it in place. It's not gonna look as dramatic on me because I literally have like very little brow hairs and they're very light. But we're just gonna do one, okay. Are you seeing this? You're probably like, no. <laughs> no, we can't see Babs, it's freaking invisible. So I'm really brushing it up. It's not as sticky as I thought it would be. So this is what it looks like, I feel like I just have such light features. I'm gonna go in with my Glossier Brown uh, Boy Brow and kind of just go over this. This is typically what I've been using lately. I'm gonna try to use a light pressure and stay with the fluffy. So I've been doing this and then just using the Benefit My, uh, or precisely my brow and that's it. I just haven't been reaching for pomade recently. I feel like I need like a brow tint. Have you guys seen brow lamination? Oh my God, it's freaking so interesting, but I can't find anyone in Ohio that does it. I was looking the other day and I wasn't having any luck. Okay, so the brows are brushed up, but of course I have so much sparseness and no hairs in the middle. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill them in with my Benefit pencil. All right, brows are on. I feel like it definitely did make them really fluffy. Um, I was just fucking with Ian so hard. He goes and plays softball with his buddies 
and we share like a Spotify account so I went to put on music while I was doing my brows and I noticed that he was listening to it so I was like let me just give you a little bit of uh, my taste of music so I went ahead and turned on uh, it's raining men and then I turned on the YMCA and like they must have been good with it because they left it on but then I turned on a uh, what is it tiptoe through the tulips <laughs> And within like 20 seconds it was off so mission accomplished so if anybody else is like me and really likes to fuck with their husband it's one of my favorite things okay now we're gonna go into the so jaded palette by kathleen lights i feel like it would be a crime to not go into the blues and the greens in here so that's what i'm gonna go for and i think i'm going to start out with this shade right here so this shade is just called turquoise Okay, there's definitely kick up in the pan. I'm going to use a sample again because I feel like, especially with like really deep shades, I just have a hard time controlling it. So I'm going to start building this. I feel like I have a hard time building up the outer corner without it getting sloppy. If that makes sense. So I like to use a sharp edge. So I like to kind of apply it and then use circular motions to really kind of buff it up towards the brow. So this is just like the base we're gonna start with. Do the same thing on this side. Lately I've been really favoring like a sharp line or a wing on me. I just feel like it looks so much more finished. So to deepen this up, I'm going into Sapphire. I think this might be the deepest shade in the palette. So again, really focusing this on the outer edge and a little bit lower like that and then we're gonna do some blending here in a second i just want to kind of lay it down nice and pigmented seems pretty typical of ColourPop. okay so i want to bring some green in here i'm going into the shade jade so what i'm going to do with jade is pull it in and blend kind of the edges of this because jade is a little bit lighter it's still pretty deep but let's just see what we can come up with so right here i'm gonna Pull this green in and then kind of blend in circular motions up. Okay, jumping back into turquoise, I'm gonna just kind of go over, reinforce this. I don't wanna lose this. So, again, keeping this lower. And I'm gonna take a blank brush with a light pressure and just really blend everything. And then I'm going to jump right back into Sapphire and just kind of really reinforce this. So once I've got it laid down, just blending everything. So I'm trying to figure out which way I want to go for the lid. If I want to go for a purple, I feel like I almost want to go into Aqua Marine. This one looks so beautiful too. But I feel like I would always go for this. So I kind of want to go into this one. I think I am. I think I'm going to go into Aquamarine. So I did wet my brush. I want to try to make this not super structured. I mean, obviously I am going to have a line here, but kind of fluff it out. I think I want to do a different shade on like the immediate lid, but this is pretty. I do think because I'm absolutely, I just cannot, I have to go into period, baby. Is it period? Period. Wow. I'm so not hip, but you know what I'm saying? Period with the DT, if that makes sense. I just have to use this, like blending this kind of right here. Something about a lime, like green gold. I just cannot. It's so pretty. So I'm applying it and then we're gonna do some like blending. And then of course I wanna go and make sure that everything is blended on the outer edge. So going back into the shade turquoise, I'm gonna actually connect this. And then I'm gonna go into that sapphire, which is that dark navy. Okay, and now I'm gonna go into uh, Jade on my lower lash line. Okay, 
Okay, I'm gonna mix these two shades for my inner corner. I'm gonna quickly do my liner off camera and then we will go ahead and try out that new Milani uh, primer and mascara. I'm gonna try these two Milani mascara and the lash uh, primer that is violet. I know it's gonna be hard to see with this makeup, um, but I just wanna demo it anyways. So this actually does have a violet tint to it. The whole point is that the violet is supposed to not turn gray because a lot of them are white and then obviously you have like a gray tinge on your lashes. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this definitely can see it it's definitely coating so maybe we'll just do one eye with and one eye without because we're gonna put lashes on anyways so on the other eye I'm gonna go in with the highly rated by Milani so the same brand I haven't tried this but I love their dangerous lengths so we'll see if we can tell a difference kind of one of those things though I feel like you should do this with no makeup on I don't love this mascara it's not doing really much for my lashes to be quite honest so so I feel like the primer is set so let's go ahead in. Okay, it definitely gave me a lot more volume and length, but I feel like I can still see the violet a little bit. Made my lashes a little bit clumpy, so we'll see, but we'll have to keep trying this out. I feel like it could be a good product. I don't really like this mascara, but we'll try this. Like, I'll try this on an off day with my Too Faced Dam girl and see what I think, but I definitely think it helped with length and volume. Okay, so I applied lashes. I'm not sure what they are. The glue's still drying, but wow. This eye look went dramatic. I put also Marc Jacobs uh, blue liner in my waterline. I thought it would make it pop, so I will link that down below. And I also did apply bronzer because I don't have a new bronzer. I applied the Jouer Dark uh, Powder, which again, I will link everything down below. So I have these blushes I wanna use. These are from JCAT. They're called the Blush Mellows. Marshmallow Blush Mallows. I don't know how to say it right, if I can get it open. So there's a bunch of different shades and they are really interesting. They almost are like a ColourPop uh, kind of texture. So I'm trying to figure out what shade. I'm leaning towards this. I think I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for this one. This is Awesome Blossom. I think they have like 16 shades. I'm gonna try with a regular brush. This is a Royal and Langnickel Omnia Contour Brush. I'm just interested to see. I don't know why I just tapped that off because it's like a cream. Okay. I need to be careful here. Do more of a stippling. It's pretty. These are like really pretty bright. I think they have some neutrals too, but you know I'm all about that. So I applied some powder, I'm gonna let that bake. I'm gonna go into the Milk Makeup Flex Highlighter and this is in Blitzed. This one looks a little bit glittery, but I don't mind that. She is pretty. Hoping she's not too dark. Definitely glittery this one is. I didn't notice the other one. This one is. I'm having glitter fallout, but I'm okay with that. I'm gonna actually wet my brush. Okay, I wet my brush to see if I can kind of keep this glitter contained. Wow, pretty, pretty, pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with the KKW 90s Icon. So I want to do a really uh, neutral lip, but I'm going to go in first with this slim lipstick at number 24 from YSL. This is pink, but I'm going to go in with a more nude uh, lipstick. So I'm just going to, not lipstick, that uh, lip vinyl from Elsie. And then for the lip vinyl, I want to go in with the shade Page, which is really, really warm. I'm hoping that this isn't too, this applicator is kind of weird to get out. And this has kind of a floral scent, which I don't love. Oh, wow. Okay, this is really pigmented. It's really pretty, though. I'm going to go in with a little bit of Sandy. Sandy is just a little bit deeper. All right, guys, here's my finished makeup look, and I'm going to go over all the products and tell you my thoughts. Starting off with the Tatcha Silk Peony Eye Cream. It felt nice and hydrating. I really can't say much more than that. It looks nice under makeup. I don't notice anything bad or anything that's kind of detouring me, but I just don't know. Again, I can't tell you, you know, if it's gonna change my under eyes, but it's nice and hydrating. It's not too thick, but it's also not 
um, kind of really like greasy or anything. So I do like it so far. I'll use it up. Uh, the Summer Friday Serum. I kind of think I'm going to like this. It played nicely under makeup. I feel like I would use this more so for daytime because I do still use my Beauty Stat. I'll actually use my Beauty Stat morning and night, but this might be a nice one to add in too. I'll have to kind of see about that. The Conceal and Hydrate. I like it. I don't know if it's going to stay all day. It's nice and smoothing. It has a good coverage, but I, again, just feel like I don't know the longevity of this because it's hydrating, so I'll have to kind of play around with it. Actually, I'll leave a um, pinned comment down below, but I would say the coverage is medium to full. Nice and smoothing. Looks nice on the skin. Uh, doesn't feel greasy. I just don't know in terms of like long wear how long it's going to wear. I like the Charlotte Tilbury uh, concealer. I mean, it looks nice. A little bit went a long way. It's a little bit thicker than I'm used to, but it looks really nice under the eyes. So I'll have to play around. I'll use up these samples and then if I feel like it, I'll pick up a full size. Quite shocked, but I do like the Urban Decay powder. At first I thought it's a little bit gimmicky, but honestly, if you throw this in your bag, your travel bag, and you just get really oily, you could just pop it out and use it. And they do have different shades, so if you don't want something so bright. So I think this is a really cool, unique idea. And the powder is nice. It was nice and smoothing. It didn't, you know, accentuate anything or make me look dry. The blushes, I really like. They're really pigmented. I feel like this is almost a dupe for the new bare minerals bounce and blurs it's the same kind of texture these have no shimmer they're matte i love the bright colors that they offer they look scary i'm gonna swatch a few actually but i mean they're really pigmented blended beautifully on the skin and they just i don't know they stand out they have i think 16 shades so i'm just gonna swatch some of them that they sent over i think they sent me six so i mean they're just really bright which i love and it looks scary but it just I don't know. It gives you a flush. We've talked about it 87 times. I love these. Uh, so really can't wait to play with these just because these kind of shades, I don't know. Something about like a flush cheek is just so flattering, which is so weird because I remember being in high school, having rosacea and being like, why would I ever put blush on? Like I just wanted a blank canvas and now I'm like, give me the blush. Uh, the Flex highlighter, I do like it. It's a little bit deep for me. This blitzed. And this one does have glitter, so be aware. I think the one I tried first, I can't remember what the shade was, but it was more yellow toned and it didn't have glitter. So just be mindful. You kind of want to probably go in store and swatch those. The Milani, highly rated. I don't, I don't like it. I'm just going to be honest. It did nothing for me. This might be a winner uh, for days when I'm not wearing lashes. I'm going to try it with my... Uh, Too Faced Damn Girl and I'll update but it did leave a little bit of a cast but again it was kind of hard to see with all the makeup on so we'll try this another time. In terms of the ColourPop So Jaded palette with Kathleen Lights I think it's beautiful. I love the outer packaging. I love that they expanded and did more colors. I kind of like big palettes. I know a lot of people like really small palettes. For me I tend to like nine pan or bigger because I like to look and see what like draws my eye and I don't like to be in a box with like five shades. I like to kind of just play and see what I can do. So when I look at this, I'm really drawn to kind of the cool tones in this palette. Also this one and this one just like scream my name. But you can also go kind of neutral up here as well. I just think this is a really nice gem tone kind of cool tone palette. Uh, I do have a code with ColourPop, which is an affiliate code. It's Babs Beauty. I don't think you can use it on collaborations, but it will apply to the rest of your order. But if you were looking to pick this up, it blends beautifully, pigmented. I didn't have any issues. So I think you'll be happy with it if you really like these colors. In terms of the LC Cosmetics Lip Vinyls, I feel like these could have been a little bit shinier. They're a little bit shinier than like a satin liquid lipstick, but they're not a gloss shiny. I don't love this smell. And one thing I noticed, like when I'm trying to pull this out, it gets stuck and it's like very violent, like to come out. Like I'm like, I feel like I'm going to rip the applicator off. So the smell is a little bit floral to me, which I don't like in my lip products. Usually I would have liked to have more like of a vanilla scent, maybe like a I don't know, strawberry or something scent, like a fruity scent. Uh, I don't taste it, which is good. And I like the shades that I got. I got really just like neutral shades, but I like that you can apply it um, and it gives you full pigment. If you don't like dry down, like matte drying lips, I think you might like these, but just a little bit like uh, the scent isn't like my favorite. So that is everything for today. I feel like we had a good day. I like to just sit down and play with makeup. I haven't done this as much recently and I'm getting back into the full face first impressions videos and these are my favorite to film. Just because I just sit down, choose what, you know, wows me, what kind of 
brings me some inspiration and then I just play and I just kind of see what I can come up with. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you're picking up any of these products down below. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video.